Hello everyone! Due to the amazing amount of technical issues that Stardew Valley is having today, this is going to be another short video. I wanted to get back into some of the longer ones, but I don't think this game can go that long without crashing today. So in this video today, I'm going to show you a cool little glitch exploit that I noticed when I was doing my Crystallarium farm a while back. Now as you can see, I have 10 Crystallariums in front of me, and it all starts simply with one quartz. Put the quartz into the Crystallarium. I'm starting with a single quartz because quartz is very easy to find, it's all throughout the mines, it's probably the most common thing you can find in the mines, and it's quick, it only takes 7 hours to be done. Instead of waiting 7 hours, I'm going to sleep overnight to make it faster. And there we have another quartz, so I take this one, put it into the next one. Obviously this is duplicating in itself, but that's not how this trick works. Once you have your desired number of crystallariums full, simply wait until the product is done. So in this case, I'm going to wait until the 10 crystallariums are done with their 10 quartz. The quartz are all now done, and I have in my possession a single diamond. And all I have to do at this point is place a diamond into the crystallarium, which is already done, and that turns it into a diamond, and then I can take it out and put it back into the next one and repeat this process. I'm using a single diamond to turn all these crystallariums into diamond producing crystallariums. And the best part is, I get to keep my original diamond. Now, diamonds take 5 days to complete, so let's skip ahead to that. Now, as you can see, the crystallariums are all done, and they're all giving me diamonds. So I went from my original 1 diamond to 11, and they're still going to keep producing. So using this trick, you can turn any gem into any other gem. I used quartz to diamond because that's basically the least value and quickest to the most valuable gem. This could obviously be a very profitable setup. And the best part is, you can essentially do it starting with one quartz and one diamond. Instead of diamonds, you could also use iridium quality fire quartz, but you can only do that if you have mods, and if you have mods, what's the point? Anyways, I just wanted to get something out today. Like I said, I wanted to do longer videos, but because of the technical issues that Stardew Valley is having thanks to its latest update, uh, that's not going to happen. Hopefully tomorrow I can resume some of the longer, more quality stuff. Anyways, in the meantime, hope you found this trick useful. Thanks for watching.